From LEX 18, your official UK sports station for Big Blue Nation, this is BBN Tonight. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. Happy birthday to you. They couldn't learn how to do that in French. Come on. <laughs> Kentucky big man and birthday boy Olivier Saar being serenaded by his teammates for the Cats. Big win in Knoxville. How about that? Welcome to BBN Tonight. I'm Keith Farmer, and we're bringing you an entire week of special co-hosts from LEX 18 News beginning tonight with Claire Crouch. Welcome in, Claire. Well, thank you, Keith. Thank you for having me yes. here. I'm so excited to be here on BBN tonight. <laughs> and on tonight's episode, we're going to recap a big weekend for Kentucky sports, including a route of Tennessee basketball on the road and a historic feat for UK swimming and diving. And later on, we'll hear from UK volleyball star Avery Skinner and the voice of the Wildcats, Tom Leach. Well, Kentucky basketball may have suffered some bad losses this season, but the Cats were big winners on Saturday in Knoxville. A recap of UK Tennessee is tonight's big blue story presented by Baptist Health. We had highlights galore in the first half, like this dunk from Jacob <laughs> Toppin. It was incredible there. And then how about Isaiah Jackson baseline? Filthy reverse slam there. Led the team with 16 points and added seven rebounds. Then in transition, BJ Boston with Jackson shielding off the defender. Cats used a 15-0 run in the first half to pull away. Davion Mintz get anywhere near him and he'd burn you. He was on fire from downtown. Five for five from deep in the opening half. Finished with 15 points uh, off of those uh, threes and for the first time in forever, Kentucky doesn't let a huge lead slip away. They route the Volunteers 70 to 55. Biggest thing is we're, we're a good defensive team. Um, we learned a little bit from the last time playing them, how you have to play them. Uh, and then we knew coming in, it was going to be hand-to-hand -hand combat. And we were, we didn't back away. Even when they were playing bad, I believed them. They're kids. You keep working with them. You hold them accountable but you keep encouraging and coaching and challenging and, and getting them to think outside their comfort level. It felt good to be able to, you know, keep our foot on the gas pedal the whole time. So, you know, to know that we can do that. that we can you know, build these leads and finally bury a team and put a team away. Claire, I think that was what was so fun on Saturday. See them build a lead and then they kept it. Keep it. Yes, I know. I think everybody was holding their breath waiting to see, are they going to do it? And this is the exact type of win that I know that team and fans everywhere yes. were hoping for. And to get it against Tennessee makes it all the much sweeter. Oh, so much better. I now, know. Nobody wants to play this team right now. They're playing so well. Yes, this is the momentum we were hoping for this time of year. Let's yes. hope we can keep it going. <laughs> all right, the pandemic, though, has had an impact on the UK basketball schedule once again. Kentucky's matchup with Texas A&M, which was originally scheduled for tomorrow night, has been postponed due to the Aggies' ongoing issues with the virus. As of this taping, there was no official word on an effort to schedule another game in its place, Keith. Yeah, you know, and I think um, I'm going to ask Tom Leach later on, but I, I can see this going both ways. It could be a positive because mm -hmm. it gives them a little more time to get ready for the next game. You know, heal up, could be a negative because right. they kind of need to win some games to help themselves out. But really, at this point, they just need to win the SEC tournament. Yes. All right, the Kentucky women let a big opportunity slip away yesterday as they traveled to Columbia to face number two South Carolina. SEC tournament seeding at stake, and it was a chance for the Wildcats to show they can compete with the nation's best teams. While the Gamecocks dominated the paint, somehow UK was only down four at the half. But South Carolina's dominance continued in the second half. They out-rebounded Kentucky by 19. That included 20 offensive boards and 46 points in the paint. The Gamecocks run away with it in the end, 76-55. The third quarter, uh, it got away from us. But overall, we just um, did not have the toughness that we needed to um, rebound. Um, we did it in spurts, but not consistently enough. Um, and you can't do that against the South Carolina, which is a very um, talented team and uh, aggressive rebounders. So at the end of the day, you, you go back to work and all you can do is continue to put emphasis on it and continue to, uh, to work on it in practice. Um, and it will transfer to a game. Uh, the Cats now dropped 15 and 6 on the season. They'll have the chance to get back in the win column Thursday night at 7 when they take on number 22 
Georgia. So kind of a tough defeat, but number two team in the land. And you know, Kentucky's going to bounce back from this. They're a tournament team already. That's right. They've had such a fun season, mm. and it's been fun to watch them. I hate them, hate that they had to have that loss, but yeah. I don't think all is lost for them, no. and I'm still excited to see how the rest of the season ends up for them. Yeah. And this was a fun one to yes. watch over the weekend, a historic weekend for the Kentucky women's swim and diving team. For the first time in program history, they won the SEC championship. The Wildcats broke five school records, produced 12 podium finishes throughout the meet, collecting over 1,100 points for their highest score in program history. UK set itself up for success during the Saturday morning session after every single swimmer who competed in prelims earned a trip to the finals, creating 20 scoring opportunities down the stretch. Congrats to everyone involved. <laughs> and you can see them all jumping there in the pool, yeah. including Mitch Barnhart. How cool was that? <laughs> that was awesome. All right, and we'll end the segment with UK softball. The team has improved to 9-0 after posting a 10-0 shutout yesterday over Mount St. Mary's. The Cats have outscored their opponents 76-10 over the last five games. Aaron Koppel earned SEC Freshman of the Week honors. UK is now focused on the spring game, scheduled to begin Friday down in Florida, and the team can be seen on ESPN's platforms 10 times in 2021, so you'll be able to cheer on your cats. Coming up next on BBN Tonight, we'll visit with one of the standouts on Kentucky's incredible volleyball team. Avery Skinner talks about the squad and its undefeated record when we return.